Hello Sagittarius, welcome. Thank you for being here. This is a mid-month reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Mars. Usually I do the weekly readings. I use the horoscope spread and we look at, you know, the situation and how that unfolds. This is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to start here with a general uh, kind of reading. What do you need to know? What's coming in? What are the energies that surround you? And then I'm going to ask regarding your love life and then finances, career, money overall energy so you can get a little bit of everything here um now before i start and there's a lot going on astrologically guys there's a lot of mutables i feel like i said this in the weekly readings between mercury being in virgo retrograde uh, venus in virgo we have mars and jupiter in gemini these are very important because um mutable they're mutable signs like you um, with Virgo and Pisces and it's interesting because that's what came here that's why I feel like I, I really need to mention it again is squaring you guys it's creating growth tensions um, with stra uh, with uh, squares we feel like things are going against us but in a way there's where the most of the growth is happening and especially again with Mars and Jupiter uh, in Gemini, which you feel like right now you have this uh, type of strong will to make uh, all your dreams possible. With Jupiter being your ruler in the opposite side of Gemini, it might be regarding your thoughts. It might be regarding, even for some of you, think of Gemini when it comes to communication, perception here, traveling. Um, it can be writing here, anything. Again, we will see what's coming in, but it seems like... Uh, Piscean energy and Virgo when it comes to idealism here dreams and possibility with Virgo We putting our dreams into a practical use, right? That's that Mercury and Venus in Virgo anything again daily here or even when it comes to a, a Relationship, what is this possibility here? What are our dreams and what do we need to do about it because even the 12th house or number 12 here that is coming in um, it feels like it has to do with those dreams, those hidden emotions here and um, hidden pleasures. The North Node and the Eighth House, I feel like, again, you're transforming here. You're going towards your pathway. So I'm going to see how those kind of energies are combining with your reading for mid-month for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars. What is important? What does the universe want you to know? Do not see this just as prediction. But also, again, what it is here that you need maybe uh, or guidance or advice to get to where, uh, especially with the North Node, towards your pathway, your destiny here. All right, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars, please. General, what's going on for mid-month? One more. The Ace of Wands and the Seven of Swords. Hmm. An exit, but also the key. The beginning of something that has been avoided. I have to see here because these two, Moon in Aquarius. Someone is holding the swords very tightly. Information. The Ace of Wands is unlocking. The spark, the passion that primal urge or someone has been pretending here or there's like a, a plan that will start but it's like done um, in a way here 12th house <laughs> behind the scenes kind of situation I, I am getting that something is being kept here secrets a plan this is like uh, accumulation of wealth and there's the king of wands now remember this might represent you this might represent someone else but the eighth house and i'm looking at this also astrologically guys but number eight maybe the strength card here as well and number 12 it can be that neptune energy but both of these have something about emotion secrecy here shared resources behind the scenes so let's see this king of wands family here hmm that happy ending i love it Let's continue like this. Uh, when the star comes in, we know that there is certain vision. There's still, there's kind of hope and renewal, but is the guidance, is the hope um, towards, again, this pathway here that is coming in. The King of Cups towards love, 
for some of you or the king of cups it may be towards uh, when it comes to someone that wants to open their heart emotions feelings i i can dream about it someone that has been hoping is coming with the masculine energy doesn't have to be it can represent um, any gender but again the kings are all about control all about structure maturity here as well so the king of cups is very loving very open look at it it's just enjoying life very distinguished but it's coming again as someone that has been hoping when it comes to emotions feelings family oh my god i decided today to do the aries leo and sagittarius the fire signs and this empress came for aries came for leo and for you first of all like i have to see what's coming uh, next here but this is unconditional love this is uh, nurturing passionate uh, look how inviting uh, the empress is looking at and remember that ace of wands that life force that's what the empress is coming in here i don't want to say because i'm looking general and i want to look at what your love life is coming in and we're going to combine this um but this is uh, like someone that has been dreaming and hoping here for this love or creativity or growth or family Okay, definitely this is something that has uh, been waiting for some time. And I'm, I'm going to say, um, here I, have, I felt like the Six of Pentacles wanted to come out here. I'm going to leave it because I wanted to see five cards first. Definitely it's going to be some type of reciprocated. It's something beautiful that when I look at the Empress, I know that, you know, there's this growth. That's why I said something here is, um, has, and even the last reading that I did for you guys was this massive growth. The Seven of Pentacles, which is Taurus energy. Look at it, it's like someone has been investing and working towards, you know, rewards here, values, love, that, you know, it, it's been taking some time, but it's worth it. Both of these are about values, especially if we're looking at Taurus. It's like I've been investing and growing, and even someone has changed here for some time. Now, what's next? The blossom in love messages. Yeah, you guys had a lot of pages, I believe, as well, about a lot about communication, this is something that has been kind of even from a distant hoped for some type of or is this the right timing can i hope that now i can uh, go towards this person i've waited long enough a lot of rewards a lot of uh, creativity a lot of abundance that is coming in and these cards i always look at what is uh, you know are there major arcanas for you there are two major arcanas here the star and the empress so these are important events when it comes again to something that uh is growing here creativity and then i look at how the elements come together and the earth and water here though again as unless there's for some of you there's pregnancy and there's <laughs> this is very specific and there's a, a child on the way it's very specific so for some of you you might finally feeling like me and this person have the family that we wanted but for others i feel like even look there's a pen here and I, I feel like a notebook that someone has been waiting and waiting and waiting to open up and look both we have you know the cups so the earth and water is very nurturing uh, it feels like blossoming here or messages of love or some type of guidance or someone here is coming ready to profess they have kind of invested and waiting for the right opportunity and it's coming now like some something is blossoming here out of love out of nurturing this big love it's like really the king of cups um is unfolding here uh, uh, towards a person that they feel like this is it this is what i've been dreaming this is what i've been hoping I can understand now and all this time you know it's like I've been preparing here to finally or propose or send that message it's not quick it's not fast it's just that's what the universe is is telling you if you are the king of cups yes like anything that we put a lot of work and dedication and that's also i said virgo there's the idea of merging with pisces you know soul merging in a way uh but with virgo the, the love language is of someone here that every day puts um a lot of efforts this is taurus energy but I'm, I'm looking at again what it is daily here that someone works every day diligently 
towards this great love. This is a person that has had a plan. Their heart is very much generous here and feels like we're going to find a way to exchange something. That is like, is promising here that yes, everything, when it comes to love, when it comes to this growth, is going to happen. It's just that beginning with the Page of Cups that is unfolding here. So high hopes, um, big love for some of you, creativity, something that has been invested for some time is finally is coming in. The journey is starting here with the pages. is just that beginning of love or expression here. Dreams, by the way, because Page of Cups is so dreamy, so Piscean. Uh, that's what is unfolding. Someone is ready here. Or someone is in love with you or you with this person. And it's worth it. There's been a lot of dedication and... Um, Again, the passion has been continuing here. We have the moon and the clock. Emotions, feelings. It has been going on for some time. Now, what's next? Now is the time to open up, to express those feelings, to send that message. Um, to be nurturing, to be loving. All right. So, um, it's, uh, it's really beautiful how things are unfolding uh, with even with work um, and daily, you know, mundane things, in the end, is about something bigger here. Let's see what. How does this come in when to, it comes to love for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars? What should they be aware of when it comes to their love life? What's coming in? What are the surrounding energies? Keep getting like this message. Someone is dreaming about you. They've been waiting. This is love. It's worth waiting. Open up. Express feeling. It's like that's what is coming in. One more. What is coming, please? What does Sagittarius needs to know? Yep, another. You guys got the pages. Uh, messages here. And look, pregnancy. I don't... Again, I don't want to say that for all of you is going to be pregnancy, but it, when it, it's coming twice here, something is unfolding in a more nurturing. Uh, this is long term, guys. And look at the celebration here of what is about to unfold. It's, it's interesting that the cards are coming different deck here. It's coming with this time here. Dedication, nurturing, yep, the higher fan, true devotion, true loyalty. Someone has been praying for, for this miracle, man. That's how I feel like the Empress pregnancy is a miracle here. Look, nesting here, family, uh, a passionate foundation, Venus, values. All right, there's the magician. That's why I expect miracles here. Anything is possible. I'm going to get all the cards together. It's interesting how the... Uh, Temperance and uh, Venus is coming. Okay, so the King of Cups coming twice. I feel like it's very important. Do not, again, for some of you, of course, it can be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But for most of you, it's just someone that is ready to open their heart. This person understands love. And, of course, the Strength card coming in here is very important. Because this is a strong will. We know that um, it cannot just be here something raw. Like, whatever is this wildness within us this passion this longing again we we have to also understand here when it comes to our perception what we need to create so this is a strong will um, and perception and to bring this together with the temperance again this is my interpretation uh, from the temperance i know that is not for every reader but to me if i'm going to see the temperance and the strength card together first of all i feel like when two people understand the the strength that they have towards each other and merging it is most of the time when i see it is like the um the card of a twin flame or merging or completion because i feel like the temperance understand unconditional love and the strength card has to understand that as well between two people to come together but also when it comes to our heart what we need here not to go to extreme what we need to bring together because there's the magician and we have gemini by the way energy that's why i said perception with mars uh and jupiter um uh, what it is here when it comes here to your assertion, to your passion. And with Jupiter, of course, we're looking at the big picture here. Faith, belief, optimism. So whatever is the temperance here in the middle, look at it. It's like the magician. I, I'm, I'm 
creating here. I'm making anything possible. I'm, I'm looking at manifestation. I'm looking at new beginnings, you know, with a, with a star. That anything out there that I put my mind is going to happen. The Four of Cups, which is Moon in Cancer, it says something about Moon here. It's like someone that has been lingering on those Three of Cups, on those good news. Okay, but is this possible? Am I, you know, kind of um, looking at a situation here? I feel like it's boring or superficial or not enough. It's like the Four of Cups is like, hmm, I don't see. I'm just seeing those good times here. I'm not seeing the the, the 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 one cup here that that will bring kind of, you know, um, change or they will bring here possibilities. It's just Moon in Cancer can be very attached to certain situations and holding on to that. The Magician is saying, no, get out of, you know, this kind of structure here. Look at things in a different way. Yes, of course, we, with the Four of Cups, with Force, we need those when it comes to emotional support. But he's saying there's something else here that is behind that you need to look at. That's why I feel like the Temperance is coming in with kind of this moderation between opening up love and knowing the strength. The strength and the King of Cups coming in and whatever this healing and um merging is like very interesting because the strength card can be on extreme here when someone feels like they need to use strength or pride here when it comes to situation where the king of cups is saying love conquers all i'm going to open up i'm brave enough i'm, I'm going to like you know um gain this fortitude or i'm going to be able here to uh, give love to whoever this person is or open up so it, it really is between perception is between feeling like hmm superficial maybe is like not going to it's not going to happen and in the end someone conquering whatever is this fear and opening up this king of cups is realizing finally what their heart wants messages again uh, and communication or perception or opening up to something that has been lingering but the temperance and the strength card i have to say these are energies that are telling you I'm not getting right now nothing fast. I'm getting here that these major arcanas are preparing you for what's going to come uh, towards you. And it's going to be this big love, this great love here, or someone that finally understands what to bring together without feeling going to extreme. That's what's coming in. And again, I feel like the merging here, whatever is being created, is finally coming together. Transformation. Yeah, someone uh, also, it's like, a, uh, I feel like the Magician and the Temperance, uh, Gemini or Mercury here, Virgo as well with the Temperance. It's like there's uh, someone here that's creating this uh, spell. I mean, I'm saying spell, but it's like creating these possibilities here with a little bit of everything. Even the Magician is like very fiery. Um, the Empress is very, very fiery. We have here the fire and water energy. Look at this. Even this is like fire and water. Highly emotional. Coming in together. Emotions and assertion, perception here, everything. Realizing what we need to do again to kind of... Um, okay, the, uh, the King of Cups has created a whole family here. Very sure this is what I need to offer. This is where my heart is. And I feel strong about it and brave. But yeah, it feels like someone that has been preparing, has healed, has gone through a lot, has high hopes to be with the right person here. I really, like, it's really an amazing reading for you guys. So yeah, it, it feels like things are unfolding. Be strong. Be true to your heart. Someone has to be brave and true to their heart here. And not shy and not feel afraid. It's not about, uh, you know using power here but is the using the, the i feel like when it comes to the power of um love than anything of the heart of the healing so yeah i i feel like the king of cups coming twice to me that person is uh you or uh whoever is coming towards you with a lot of love and they have been considering and waiting here and thinking of Everything under the sun here. I feel like when it comes to coming forward here to, to, to gather this strength to come towards a person that the King of Cups is in love with. So what about here finances? 
you know, money, um, career, status, what's going on? What is going on with Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars, please? Career, money, status, finances, anything that is important in that area of their life. One more. Okay, you guys looking good. You're gonna, uh, like you have wealth, family, establishment. Some of you, this has been going on for some time. You can have it all, but you need to merge because there's some, there's love here. If the King of Cups has achieved certain, um, status money wise or has completed or has family here or um, something already completed it feels like now there's something else that need to be merging yeah moving towards something better wow there's a new offer new possibilities here i don't know if like, what is this seven of swords what is he done i feel like there's an opportunity another opportunity another job another offer but if there's something you have to leave behind leo had that Okay, so it's coming in together, this Four of Cups. Um, or Aries. I feel Aries had this. If you guys have Aries in your chart, you don't have to. It may be a coincidence, but just know that some of these cards were Aries as well. So, it feels like when it comes to that area of your life, anything, status or money or career, there is a new beginning here. Or you feel like you want to start a new project. And I don't know if you're feeling like, should you, uh, does this involve someone that you're romantically linked to? Um, because there's a contract here, there's collaboration. And the fool, usually is someone that is like kind of doesn't have the knowledge, but I'm getting that there's a lot of knowledge here. There's a plan, there's a mastery, there's someone that has that knowledge or has that expertise that is coming in. But I don't know why. You might be feeling that or there is a situation that someone is not going to like accept this and again it involves also a situation with your love life you might feel like you you'll regret maybe things are not going to like come as um, your way here earth and water the only thing that i'm getting major arcana is like okay i'm thinking about it that my, i may need to start something completely here or by myself or trust someone's expertise that's i feel like that three of pentacles there's been a plan but it's, I don't know if you feel like someone might not ex, um, accept this. Again, it has to do with the Three of Cups. It has to do with... Uh, look at the threes here together. Three, three, three. I don't know if you feel like there's a missed chance or this is uh, when it comes to friendship and romance is affecting your finances and money. You're going to be fine. In the end, I feel like whatever you're building is going to work and you're going to improve and maybe you need more time. You cannot just jump into this situation. I like the Eight of Pentacles because it's, it's going to be more practical. Again, that Virgo energy. Okay, I want this new beginning, but there's something else right now here that I need to consider because of my love life or I don't know how this is going to unfold. It might be something that I need to leave behind. So right now, let me just work on what I have. That's the energy I'm getting. Whatever a project you're going to improve, you're going to work into it. But there is something that you want to start new. You've been planning about it or you feel like you have to consider another person. Remember, what is that you manifesting regarding your love life? It's kind of lingering. Uh, when it comes to your work and finances and status but in the end whatever work skills or talent that you have is going to bring you the wealth um, and the stability but I feel like there's a work in progress when it comes to that area of your life I truly hope this resonates with you guys thank you bye bye